Welcome back to Morning Live. A final look now at your sports news on this Thursday morning. Now, last night, the Wanderers Club hosted the 2022 G Sport Awards, which honor women excellence in sport on and off the field. I was honored and privileged enough to have a chance to speak to some of the winners on the night. Let's have a listen to that conversation. Marion, firstly, just congratulations on, on being inducted into the G Sport Hall of Fame. How are you feeling about this moment? I mean, you are the 17th person to be inducted and the first ever in the field of hockey. I'm overwhelmed, firstly. Um, quite emotional, I think, hearing that it's the first time for hockey. Um, and obviously humbled, honoured, privileged everything that goes with that i'm really really feeling um like this is something that i never thought i'd love to see um so i'm so happy that um g sport kiss and g sport you know honor women and um induct them into the this hall of fame because i guess I never thought it would be me, but I do know that um, there are so many people who are deserving of this. And as we talk about so many people who are so deserving of this, the first Hall of Fame inductee was in 2006. For you to now get it 17 years later in 2022, also just speaking to the power of recognition and perhaps also just a little bit of patience. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, but I guess what I'd what I've done for the sport over the years was really because I'm so passionate about it, still am very passionate about it, um, and it was really um, a love I developed playing the game, and I wanted other young girls at school to enjoy it. So as a teacher, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to coach it so they enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed it. Yeah. And wanting other young girls to enjoy it, one of those girls turning out to be your daughter. Talk to us about that as a mother. How proud are you of her and her achievements? Oh, I'm extremely proud of her. Um, she grew up on the side of the hockey field, obviously. I was playing and um, coaching, and she would be playing with her little stick as a toddler. So she started playing from the age of six. And um, I didn't force her. <laughs> it was just, I think, um, something that she also just grew to love as she developed. And, um, and I think that probably being so familiar with the game from a young age, she just grew to love it as well and went on to great heights and of course I'm just extremely proud of that. For me, first time nominated for a G Sports Award and you walk away with it. Talk me through what you're feeling at this moment having been able to win the award in the category you were with against the other nominees. This is beyond me for Siwa, this is beyond me. Um, I did not anticipate it. It came sooner than I thought. Um, I've always watched the G-Sport Awards and I'd be rooting for people and I'd be voting for people and finally I get to get my chance and uh, luckily and I got to win it as well so I'm grateful for the people who voted I'm grateful for each and every news editor, sports editor that has given me a chance um, you know to unleash my talents and yeah, it's not easy to be a football writer everything has to be in its rightful place and you know as a female coming into the space you 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 always have to be accurate and i think this validates the work i've put in over the years in general in the media space because it has literally come full circle for me certainly has come full circle not your first award either but for young women sitting at home and saying i too want to be in Bumi one day what are your words to them Passion, passion and passion, um, passion is to drive you, you know, everything else follows. The, the awards, the recognition, the, the nominations are just a cherry on top. Focus and, and, and just cultivate your, your craft and work on it, you know, work on yourself and make sure that you become the greatest version of yourself all the time, compete with you. And yeah, eventually everything that you want will surely come to pass. Coach Desiree Ellis, congratulations once again, Coach of the Year. How are you feeling about this moment? It really has been such an amazing year for you. It's definitely been an amazing year, not just for me, for Banyana as well. And we always say to the players, if the team does well, the individuals will stand out. 
And a big thank you to the players and the staff for this award because it's not just mine. It belongs to everyone involved in women's football, players, coaches, those that have come before, so all the work that they've put in and we're getting the rewards. And as you talk about the rewards, tonight you've won an award and the team has won an award. Coach, it really is such an amazing time because we know you've been putting this work in for years. And how does it feel to finally reap what you've been sowing? We say to the players, just keep on going, keep on rising. And this is the result they off, you know, so many times in the final and finally getting that WEFCON gold medal. This is the result of that. And I say to the players, when you put up performances like this, you, know, you get all the recognition. But it shouldn't just be about getting this medal to get the recognition. Because Panyan has really done extremely well over the last couple of years, but it needed that gold medal for us to get hugely recognized. And we say thank you for that. And coach, they always say getting to the top is easy. I assume for you, you'll say no, it's not. But they also say that staying at the top is harder. How now do you manage to maintain everything you've done? We know the amount of pressure that's on you and the team to continue to excel. Look, it's all about getting ready for the World Cup now. It's about making sure that we give players an opportunity. It's about making sure that we play the best teams to get us ready. Um, you know, and starting off with Brazil, I thought we started well. Um, but it's about minimizing those mistakes, about taking those mistakes in the next game and being better. We have Australia now, so we've got to take the lessons out of that and make sure that you know we, we, we don't panic, make sure that when we get opportunities that we put it away, make sure that when we're in a position where we're pressured, that we play out of that pressure because that has got to be better going forward. Um, and that's why we play these matches, but it's about getting ready for the World Cup. Um, and we'd like just to say thank you to the fans out there. Um, they have been amazing you know, from afar. Um, it was wonderful to see them in the stadiums and we hope they will come out in their numbers not to just support Banyana Banyana but go to the Hollywood Bets, go to the Sasa Leagues and support all the teams there because it's not just about Banyana, it's about women in football.